time, guys. Flood Mine 14. And we're here back with some more Yu Gi Oh! GX Duel Academy. Uh, toward the end of uh, last episode, we were doing some more time duels. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. So, we've got 16 more for level 4 here. So, let's do it. Number 65. Here we go. Alright. Alright. These are always fun. These are always fun. Just to, just to try and figure them out. Uh, just Gemini Elf. 4,500 life points. Okay. Pin Chopper and Arsenal Bug. Interesting. Hmm. This combo seems a little familiar. Um. Let me think, though. Okay, yeah. I think this will work. What's in the deck for Mystic Tomato? Because we can take 500 damage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems like they like to use a cannon soldier a lot in these later puzzles. But anyway, we'll go with uh, Pinch Hopper and Multiplication of Ants. So, with that, we can trigger Pinch Hopper's effect. Uh, special Summon a Monster? Yes. So we'll bring out Arsenal Bug. Because that's the only way we can clear a uh, Gemini Elf. And then we get two Ant Tokens. Uh, attack Mode. Attack Mode. Obviously, for the additional damage, you do need Cannon Soldier from the deck. So, yeah, let's uh, throw in Mystic Tomato and we'll fetch uh, Cannon Soldier. Very good. So, yes, Special Summon, uh, Cannon Soldier, Attack Mode. Very good. And then you just go in with all your monsters and uh, Cowboy for game. Yeah, because uh, you need the tokens on the field as well, because Arsenal Bug, uh, if you have him out by himself, um, he only has a thousand attack and defense. So, yeah, his attack and defense are have unless you have a uh, insect monster on the field. So, there you go. All right, Cannon Barrel Blast. And now we just, you know, make sure we pick the right monsters here for Cannon Soldier. Activate effect. Yeah, attribute this token. Not too bad. Yeah, because you can see, yeah, yeah, now that there's no insects on the field, he's down to a thousand. So, there you go. Alright. And then, Cannon Soldier. Use your special ability one more time. Alright, that's that one. Okay, oh yeah, and when did I start this? About 220? Okay. Keep an eye on the time. Whoa. This kind of did a little shiny flash. I'm guessing this is Jinzo. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> like, why else would it do that? <laughs> um, Ceasefire, wow. Okay, um, Jinzo. How do we out Jinzo? Ooh, back to square one. Wow, total defense Shogun. But his life points are at 4,500. Hmm. Okay, Mataza can attack twice. The Shallow Grave, huh. What's he got in the graveyard? Interesting. So this has 1,400 defense, uh, but we don't have anything in our graveyard. Um, I think the combo here, you do have ceasefire. So I think the combo here is back to square one um, to put your Shogun in the graveyard. Uh, to get rid of Jinzo. Now Fat Fatal Abacus is back online. Uh, but how do you clear this? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Shallow Grave. To revive your total defense Shogun. Because this card can attack even if it's in defense mode. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I think what's going to do the rest of the damage is all the burn damage. So you want to summon Mataza first. Then you want to flip a uh, ceasefire for 1500 damage. Uh -huh. Okay, now that it's face up, your defense shogun can attack. So, fatal abacus should do 500. Right, right, right. Right, and then Mataza can attack twice for 26. So, yeah, yeah, pretty tricky puzzle, pretty tricky puzzle. But, uh, yeah, that was an interesting one. I was afraid at first he was going to revive Jinzo, but that's why they give you, uh, like, back to square one and not, uh, you know, 
tribute to the doomed. Because if Jinzo was still in the grave, that'd be a problem. Deslacuda. Okay, his life points are at 8,000. Holy smokes. Ah, okay. What's <laughs> Cyberstack? <laughs> okay, okay. What's in the fusion deck? Blue Eyes Ultimate. Okay. This seems a little straightforward. Hmm. But it can't be that easy, right? Sacred Crane. Wait, 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 wait. This has the effects. Let me, let me check. Yeah, so we can't use this or we deck out, right? Right. So that's the trick in this one, is you can't actually use Premature Burial or, uh, yeah. Let's see. So let's flip Grenador here to gain. Oh, wait. Then again, how do we gain... Because we need 5,000 for Cyberstein, right? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. My brain's, my brain's clicking here. Yeah, because you need another 1,000 points for Cyberstein. You know what? Maybe we can draw a card. Hmm. I activate back to square one. Uh-huh. Because you can select your own cards, right? So let's discard Monster Reincarnation to top deck Granadora. Let's Premature Burial on Sacred Crane. Uh huh. Yeah. Now we have a card to draw. Uh huh. I still haven't summoned. Let's summon Granadora. Uh huh. Let's now pay 5,000. Ah. I guess you do need Sacred Crane. My bad, my bad. Alright. Alright, and this has how much defense? Just enough for Cyber Saiyan. Okay, okay. Alright. Man, that one was pretty tricky, I must admit. I'm assuming this is going to be enough damage with Granadora and Sacred Crane. Okay. Uh huh. This will get him down to 4,500, right? Nice. Go, my blue eyes, ultimate dragon. Neutron blast. <laughs> not bad, not bad. All right, that one was that one was pretty tricky. At first, I, I thought you didn't have to, you couldn't use Sacred Crane, but yes, you can back to score one your own monster swords and uh, fight the god the dragon. Ah, I see. So yeah, this one's gonna be a little tricky. Um, why dragon head? Wow. I don't know, do we have all the combination pieces? No. Uh, well, maybe we do. We do. Okay, sweet. What are his life points at? Oh, okay, okay. This one seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you activate Thunder Dragon. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Shallow Grave. To revive x Head Cannon. Uh-huh. Because you basically need to go into XYZ Dragon Cannon here. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay. Then you summon... What's on the field? Y and X. Okay. So I'll summon my Z Metal Tank. And you have three cards on hand now, which means you can pop all three cards on the field. So, very good. Alright. Another Kaiba special here. X. Y. Z. X, Y, Z. Oh, I like that it has the uh, alternate artwork in this game. Yeah, we didn't get this artwork for the longest time, actually. Pretty cool artwork, though. Um, okay, so yeah, we just use the effect three times. Doesn't really matter uh, what order you do this in, but uh, we'll destroy this. Bye-bye. Activate effects. All right. Destroy swords next. Very good. And then activate effects. Alright, discard this. There we go. Alright. Go my XYZ Dragon Cannon Hyper Laser Attack. Say goodbye to those life points. Very cool. Man, we got to do two Kaiba uh, signature monsters in the same episode. That's cool. And now for Time Duel, you've all been waiting for 69. Giggity, 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 giggity. Let's do it. Uh, oh, I'm guessing we have some kind of quick play. 
Brush recklessly. Okay. Throw stone unit. Oh man, that's a throwback. Um, who's def whose defense is equal to or lower than the attack of this card? Hmm. Okay. Ah, uh huh. And what's in the graveyard? Ah, okay, okay. I think we've got a way to get past your little Jinzo there. All right. Ready for this? I summon. The Rotting Captain. When this card summoned, I can special summon another uh, card in my hand, and I choose Throw Stone Unit. Nope, no chain. Attack mode. Okay. So now we rush recklessly the Throw Stone Unit. And now, time to activate Throw Stone Unit's special ability. Now that it is attack points are at 1600, I'll offer my Marauding Captain to destroy your Jinzo, since its defense is lower than 1600. Finally, call it the Haunted. Revive Dark Triceratops. And that gives us just 4000. Pretty straightforward puzzle on that one. All right. That's awesome. I actually remember using Throw Stone Unit, uh, like, a lot back in the early days, uh, cause it is a warrior with 2,000 defense, pretty good, and it, sometimes its effect does come up, as you saw right there, so. Alright, next one. Green Gadget, Red Gadget, Yellow Gadget. I'm guessing we have Stronghold. We do. Uh, wait, how do we play- oh, oh! <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, this card was actually called Cathedral of Nobles before it was uh, changed back to Temple of the Kings. But uh, yeah, okay. I was wondering how we play uh, Stronghold this turn, but obviously that's how. Summon Skull? Okay, I figured it was something like that. Um, oh, wait a second. This gets special summon in defense mode, though, right? Yeah. Huh. Um. Uh, Wait a sec, wait a sec. And his life points are at 2400. Okay, in that case, you don't attack with the uh, uh, stronghold. Um, you have to go into Catapult Turtle. Um, no, wait, the only thing I'm thinking of is. Yeah, Darkhold doesn't change the equation. If I get rid of one of the gadgets, though, this won't have 3000 points, right? Yeah, so I think that's the trick, is you have to actually tribute. Uh, I thought I would have to attack with this, but no. You actually have to tribute Stronghold uh, to do just burn damage. Kind of odd, kind of odd. Okay. I'm just assuming this is going to be enough, as far as all the burn damage goes. Okay, and then... Okay, okay. So it's that easy, it's that easy. Just uh, summon catap Catapult Turtle, win. Okay. Kind of an odd one, kind of an odd one. All right. I, I guess the trick to that one is Dark Hole. Dark Hole's kind of a red herring in that one. Kind of strange, kind of strange. Okay, so our life points are at uh, 900. Ring of Destruction, okay, okay. So I can ring something with like 800 points? Uh, Guardian? Whoa. Premature Burial? Okay, okay. What do we have? Moki, Moki! Sweet. Special Hurricane. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess both of these cards were Special Summon. Yeah, that is true. So, we can Special Hurricane. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay, I think I've got this one. So... What you want to do is Special Hurricane first, discarding Sangan, uh -huh, to destroy both of the monsters on the field, since they were Special Summon. Then you want to summon, normal summon, Moki Moki. Moki Moki. Then you want to ring your own Moki to get a light monster in the graveyard. Ah, I see. Tricky, tricky. And then, finally, you want to Special Summon Electless the Soldier. So, now. I'll banish a light monster and a dark monster from my graveyard to special summon the one and only Black Buster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. Uh, if you check the rest of your graveyard... Okay, yeah, there was nothing. So yeah, you had to do that. So, go Black Buster Soldier, Chaos Blade Attack. Ah, nice. 
from some signature Kaiba card to a signature Yugi card. I like it. I like it. Alright, wow, not much to work with in this one. Uh, reincarnation, Summon Skull, Magician of Faith, Giant Orc. Okay. Slack points are at 27. Uh, what can we reincarnate? Oh, Premature Burial. Do we have the life points? No, we don't. So... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I've got this one. Oh, Magician of Faith. Summon Skull is actually a red herring in this one. You want to bring back Axe of Despair. Uh-huh. Then you want to Monster Reincarnate. You actually want to get rid of Summon Skull. And instead go for Mataza the Zapper, because this card can attack twice. So, there you go. Uh -huh. Then Summon Mataza. Activate Axe of Despair to boost it by just enough to get past a uh, giant orc, right? And then, yeah, attack twice with it and attack with Magician of Fate. Very clever puzzle, very clever. Yep, Summon Skull's definitely a red herring in that one. Very good, very good. And then Magician of Fate, Sacred Staff Attack. Very good, very good. All right. They tried to trick me with that one. All right, 73. Let me grab a drink here real quick. I love this music though, pretty cool. Okay. All right, let's do this boys and girls. Let's see what's on the field. Desk Koala, Gora Turtle. Now this is a floodgate. Uh, yeah. Aw, oh, Gore Turtle's so cute. Uh, as long as this card remains face up on the field, monsters with an attack of 1900 or more cannot attack, so, yeah. Tsukiyomi. Okay, that can flip it face down. It has 1100 defense. Uh, alternatively, this could flip Desk Koala if they had any cards in their hand, but they don't. Summon Skull Premature Burial. Okay, you can't afford Premature Burial this time. Wait, 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 wait. Cards are in their hand. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. What does this. This one makes them draw till they have seven, right? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. When it inflicts battle damage. Hmm. I'm thinking here. Okay. Let's use Premature Burial. Okay, let's revive Sasuke Samurai number three. Very good. Let's Tsukiyomi, our Death Koala. Yeah, I guess the burn damage might matter here. Uh -huh. Then let's battle. We have to wait until we get the effect of Sasuke Samurai. Crash with Turtle. Go, Sasuke Samurai number three. This, uh, this Samurai's got a very handy ability. When it damages you, you're forced to draw until you have seven cards in your hand. And now that you do, I'll flip up Desk Koala, doing 400 damage to you for every card in your hand. Yeah, seven times four, 2,800. Pretty cool puzzle, pretty cool puzzle. I like that one. All right, 74. All right, let's see what's out here. Kangaroo Champ. Okay. Gekyu Gaida Panda. Catapult Turtle. Ah, Token Fuse Evil. Why is MST here? Oh, okay, okay, I see. Um, Token Fuse Evil. Hmm. Man, his life points are all the way at uh, 5,700. That's crazy. Um, I think what you want to do in this one... Evil, maybe a red herring? Maybe. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe it's not. Okay, first things first. You want an Ojama Trio. Nope, don't chain. Yeah, basically, you want to boost um, Yaku Gatter Panda by as much as possible. Then let's flip some in Catapult Turtle. Okay. So, 
I want to attack with uh, this first, I think. Let me think here. Let me think. Because this does burn damage too, right? It does, it does. Okay. So... I think the key here... Yeah, because we can't attack directly, really, no matter what. Maybe you have to do the 200, and then... 200. Yeah, that will be a little more damage. No. Because I'm thinking about the burn damage with Catapult Turtle as well. Okay, I think this is what you have to do. I'm going to try it this way first. So let's just do as much damage as we can with Panda. two. Main phase two. Let's see how much burn damage this does, because he's at 23 right now. So, burn damage with the catapult turtle. Hmm, okay, okay. And then let's try this. MST on... I'm not sure if this is right or not, but we'll try it. Then we get a wicked token. And now we trigger a uh, token for these people. Not sure if this will be enough or not. Ah, it is, it is. Okay, okay, so that's what you have to do in this one. And then we tribute Catapult Turtle. Very good. I wasn't sure if all the burn damage from a uh, token for evil and the Ojama uh, tokens would be enough. But it was. Very good. I like that one. I like that one. Okay, so we got Shining Angel. No targets in deck uh, right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pot of Generosity. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, what's he got? Granadora and Messenger of Peace. Interesting. So, if you guys don't know, Granadora's effect... Yeah, normally when it's summoned, you gain 1,000. But when it's destroyed, uh, it inflicts 2,000. So really, all we have to do in this puzzle is destroy Granadora. Shining Angel, Shining Angel. Okay. So we can take up to 2,000 damage ourselves. Um, do we have another Shining Angel in hand? Oh no, but we don't need one, I don't think. Okay. So the key to this one is, uh, yeah. His life points are only at 2,000, but you need to bring out XYZ Dragon Cannon. I'm guessing. Yeah, 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 you do. Okay, so, <laughs> believe it or not, you have to use Pot of Generosity here. <laughs> One of the worst cards ever. But, uh, yeah, put back Y Dragon Head, Z Metal Tank, this side. Okay. Normal Summon X Head Cannon. And then you want to run the two angels in. Uh, to float into the XYZ pieces. And then you have one card left in your hand to use the effect, so there you go. Alright, go Shining Angel. Attack that Granadora. This is kind of like the, uh, the uh, Mystic Tomato trick with Cannon Soldier. Very similar, uh, but instead this time, you're just getting out uh, XYZ Dragon Cannon, so pretty cool, pretty cool. float into Y Dragon Head. Okay. And yeah, you can't uh, do this in the middle of the battle phase, so yeah. You gotta go to main phase two. Alright. And once again, I will special summon XYZ Dragon Cannon. Alright. X, Y, and Z. And L, XYZ Dragon Cannon. And then we'll use the effects, discarding this, to destroy your Granadora. <laughs> and with that, we win. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, on to number 76. Let's see, what is this? Castle gate, can't be destroyed in battle. Okay, okay. I don't think that effect will matter when this card is in face-up attack position. Okay. Yeah, 
yeah, I don't think that I'm at Spirit Barrier too. Wow. Okay. So, can't be destroyed in battle, and he won't take any damage. Oh, we have White Ninja to pop it. Okay. Wait, transformation? Hmm. Oh, and we have Big Col- Oh. I see. I see. Very cool. Okay, so we'll activate White Ninja to pop his defense monster. You have to do this, because it can't be destroyed in battle. Okay, then you, yeah, activate Transformation. Yeah, sacrifice White Ninja to bring out. Now I summon my big, my little friend from down under, Big Koala. All right, next you go for Bazoo. Very nice. And I'm guessing you just have to use Bazoo's effect for the extra damage there. Uh, sure, we'll just chain Big March of Animals here. Very good. All right. Okay, and now for Bazoo, we'll banish uh, White Ninja from the graveyard. This side. Okay. And now he's up to 30... Yeah, this will be exactly 54. Cool. All right. Go, Bazoo, direct attack. Pretty cool, pretty cool combo. Yeah, I mean, just who are transformations are pretty cool car. So... Go get a big koala. Nice. All right. Next one, 77. Okay. Oh. Okay. So they've got Stronghold and what else? Stronghold. Soul Tiger. So just a lot of good defenders. Oh, yeah. Battle footballer, baby. <laughs> um, Droberoid. Okay. And their life points are only at 2,400, so I think the key here is just clear as many cards as possible. What was that? Oh, Rare Metal Dragon. Okay, that has 2,400. So, yeah, that's the really just the name of the game on this one, so just clear everything. So, MST destroys Stronghold. Very good. That's one down. Drillroid will destroy another. And it doesn't really matter which one you take out with Shield Crash. Since they both have the same defense, but uh, there we go. Premature burial on rear metal dragon. There we go. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure Drillroid uh, ignores damage calculations, so with that we win. So pretty easy one, pretty easy one. Go Drillroid, use your special effect. Super Drill. All right. Very good. I like that one. I like that one. All right. And I think I'll get a drink before this next one. All right. And we only got two more to go. And we've done uh, 20 more time duels. So. Okay. Let's see. What's on the board this time? Luster Dragon. Okay. Coffin Cellar. Wow. Okay. Uh, Mystic Tomato. Let me guess, let me guess. Is Cannon Soldier in the deck? No, but Sandian is. Sandian and Z Metal Tank. Huh. Hmm. I'm just thinking here. I'm just thinking. Huh. Sandian, Z Metal Tank. on this one is you can't get past this monster no matter what but you have to make sure you have enough life points because of coffin cellar as well so hmm can you just burn with catapult turtle that's the question his life points are at 2200 so this would be nine this would be seven nine plus seven sixteen Plus five, you'd be just short. You'd be just short. So, yeah, I think you do have to run in tomato. You, I think with this puzzle, you're gonna have just enough life points left to do this. So, yeah. Coffin Cellar, special summon out sand again. Okay, and then main phase two. Uh, activate effects. Uh, okay. 
So you want to tribute Sandman. Right. Okay. And then you want to bring out Z Metal Tank to your hand. Okay. Down to 1700. So you summon Z Metal Tank. And then you don't want to tribute each one because then I think your life points will run out because of Coffin Cellar. But what you want to do is, yeah, special summon XZ tank cannon. Uh huh. And then Z. Because this way, yeah, and these monsters will get banished for the fusion. This way, you only send one monster to the graveyard. So then you activate Catapult Turtle again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. And then you activate Catapult Turtle on itself. And yeah, yeah, Cat Coffin Solar would burn you. You know, if you if you sacrifice Z and then X. So yeah, you have to go into the fusion there. That's the key to that. Very good. And you can't use the Union effect either for the same reason. Because uh, when Z goes to the graveyard, it would still count as a monster. You know what I mean? So, um, but with that being said, let me check out the time. Okay, guys. I think that's all I have time for in this one. But uh, yeah, we did get 18 more time goals done, so that's good. Um, in the next episode, I'll probably do like the next two time goals, and then we will just, uh, yeah, we'll do some regular goals. But uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this one. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you like the time goals. I, I know I have a lot of fun uh, doing the puzzles, so. But yeah, I guess I'll see you all the next time. All right. Have a good day.